0-2-1 Kane's goal helps advance Spurs to the quarterfinals first time since 2011 Harry Kane rewrote the history books as Tottenham finished off Borussia Dortmund to reach the Champions League quarterfinals. The England striker's second-half goal saw him become Spurs' leading scorer in European competitions with 24, helping his side win 1-0 away to the Bundesliga leaders and seal a 4-0 aggregate success in the last 16 tie. Market value H. Kane 135 million pounds center forward Kane's 14th goal in 17 Champions League appearances again proved he is the man for the occasion. Spurs came into the game with a 3-0 advantage from the first leg, but they were forced to survive a first-half barrage at Signal Iduna Park, before Kane's goal early after the restart took the pressure off and ensured a safe passage to the last eight. Progression represents progress for Mauricio Pochettino's side, who went out to Juventus at this stage last season. It means they are in their first Champions League quarterfinal since Harry Redknapp took them there in 2011. However, it was not an entirely comfortable evening for Spurs. The outcome might have been different had Dortmund taken one of 11 first-half chances. With such a rescue mission to perform, the hosts were always going to start strongly and they had their visitors on the rack early. Market value J. Vertonghen 27 million pounds center back Jan Vertonghen, the first leg hero at Wembley three weeks ago with a goal and an assist, again came up trumps for his side with a brilliant goal-saving tackle on Marco Royce after the Dortmund skipper capitalized on a Davinson Sanchez error. Spurs were not helping themselves as they were sloppy in possession and the wave of early pressure continued as Royce had a deflected effort that Hugo Lloris grabbed at the second attempt before Mario Goetz's shot from the edge of the area was blocked by Christian Eriksen. The Premier League side will have taken comfort from the fact that Dortmund's desperation to score might leave holes at the back which they could exploit, and that happened on the half hour. It opened up for Eriksen in the middle of the park and he slid Sun Hoogman through on goal. The South Korean has a brilliant scoring record against Dortmund and would have expected to score but he stubbed his shot wide under pressure from defenders. Attacks like that were a rarity, though, and it was only down to some heroic goalkeeping from Loris that Spurs were able to survive a Dortmund barrage. First, the France captain kept out Julian Weigel's header, with Ben Davies brilliantly blocking the rebound from the same player, before Loris again produced a fine flying save to keep out Rafael Guerrero's curling effort, with all three chances coming in the space of a minute. Loris, who has produced some costly errors in the Champions League this term, then had to save more routinely from Jadon Sancho and Paco Alcacer as Pochettino's side somehow got to have time with their 3-0 aggregate lead intact. With the advantage of kicking towards their famous yellow wall, Dortmund will have been fancying more of the same. But, just as they did at Wembley in the first leg, they suffered a damaging start to the second half as Kane put the tie beyond reach. The man who so often scores for Tottenham when they need him to, showcased his clinical finishing in the 49th minute. After getting back on side when a move broke down, he found himself in space and when Musa Sissoko slid the ball through there was little doubt about the end result as Kane fired into the top corner. That ended any doubts about the outcome and Dortmund were unable to recreate the intensity and pressure they had produced before the interval. Spurs could have had a bigger winning